Hello and welcome to this Grunt tutorial where we shall be going over how to work with existing Grunt projects. This is fairly simple, I'm going to leave the uh, gruntjs.com forward slash gain um, hyphen started uh, link in the description just to uh, give you a bit more uh, script, well, a bit more content as to how to work with existing projects. But you know it's fairly simple, um, we have to make sure obviously that the Grunt CLI is working and installed. Um, do note the Grunt CLI is not Grunt. Um, basically we want to run the Grunt command interface, um, command line interface, whatever you want to call it, which is basically just a CLI and we want to run that globally. So we would install that. I've already got it installed so I'm not quite sure what's gonna what's gonna happen but we're just saying look sudo node package manager node package manager install globally Grunt CLI. I'm not quite sure what will happen. Yours should actually look a lot different to that because I've already got the CLI. Um, so basically, it just puts Grunt in your system path, which is obviously um, dependent on your system. Um, and then Grunt can be well, the CLI can be run from any directory. They're not uh, from then onwards. Basically. The CLI works by each time it's run, it'll get um, the global um, state that Grunt has been installed in um, will be installed into that particular directory using a requirement um, system. So this means you can uh, run Grunt from any particular subfolder, um, depending on obviously um, the structure and if it's coherent and uh, modular. Um, so let's get to grips with working with existing projects. So we've assumed that we've installed, well, I haven't assumed, I just made sure that I installed the Grunt CLI. Um, we don't currently have Grunt. Um, I'm assuming that anyways, or I'm assuming that for you, that you don't have Grunt installed. Um, but if you do, uh, just follow ahead and skip um, each particular task that uh, you've already done. So we're going to uh, change the root directory, um, which is basically you can change the base directory by running just grunt help. And this should give us a bunch of nice information. Let's have a look, it's taking its time. But yeah, this is fairly simple really, I don't want to keep this video too long, we're just going to, here we are, we're just going to keep the, um, you can change the base, so you can change the base path. Um, which I don't think you'll have to do to be honest um, and it gives you the available tasks because I've got Grunt installed but I'm just going to for this particular demonstration purpose um, go ahead with pretending I don't have it installed <laughs> um, so we can change the base if the base hasn't been set up properly but all we really need to do is just we've got our folder here with the CLI is working right um, and we just have to make sure that um, if the base isn't matching up to our particular folder, we can change that by just using, you know, uh, specify an alternative base path by default. All paths are relative to the Grunt file, so wherever the, wherever the Grunt file is, it may be in our particular folder. So that should work fine. Installing our dependencies. To do that, we run node package manager install, and then Grunt should work from then on then onwards um, and then just run grunt and then it'll work that's all there is to this particular uh, tutorial uh, as previously mentioned um, we can use grunt um, I think I mentioned this in previous tutorials or if I haven't um, we can use grunt um, space dash dash help to um, get a good idea of the uh, grunt documentation um, so it gives us all these options here we can enable debugging and disable writing to files, all this type of stuff and again if you're still having problems with working with existing projects make sure your base path is um, in um, I don't know, in sync with your grunt file because if it's not then it won't work um, and then it gives us our available task which is really neat um, I've installed all of these over the previous tutorials so I, really, I don't know, I've really come to grips with liking grunt, I don't think I could use um, a project now without it, it's just really amazing, the automation system is amazing but yeah that's kind of it for this uh, tutorial, um, thank you for watching, if you have any comments drop in the comments section below make sure to summarise you've got the project root directory on track, uh, make sure it's in sync with your grunt file 
Um, install dependencies because your dependencies are really, really important. Um, tutorials, Grunt, your node modules, all of these. And Grunt will not run without Grunt. So that's basically installing Grunt by using npm install, what we just did. Um, then to run Grunt, type Grunt, then uh, hit return, enter, whatever you want to call it. And that's it, Grunt will run. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.